How's it going YouTube Tech here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Aura Creator application or I should call software that is provided by ASS Gaming Laptops. So it's there in RLT and I'm sure it should be available in the Zyphers and Tough models also. So basically Aura Creator actually comes pre-installed but if you don't have it for some reason you can simply go on Google search for download Aura Creator and you will see this website over here. So click the first link that says Aura Creator Devices. So once you click it, you will be inside the actual website and here you will see how the Aura Creator enables infinite lighting possibilities for your laptop and connected accessories if they have that system. So basically here is a list of the laptops that support it and the graphic cards and coolers, keyboards, desktops headset and even the mouse pads that has Aura creating or basically RGB capabilities and even the storage and your streaming kit and basically some of the partner devices also. So you can download it by going here, download on the top menu and basically click download and that's it. It will be a zip file, unzip it having WinRAR and you can simply just get it so now let's get back to the Aura Creator software and let's open it. So once you open it for the very first time, there won't be much of a setup here. And all right, so I have an update available for my laptop. All right, I'll go through it later. But yeah, this is what you're going to see. So this is the actual screen. There is no other screen like different kind of screens like we have in the DaVinci Resolve. You have different screen for color editing for the sound, for the timeline, for the video editing itself. But this is the only screen you get. So first of all, I'm going to explain you what are things on this screen. So the left panel you can see is basically the effects and some other sync with lightning effects of your RGB laptop. So these effects are pre-installed. You don't have to download it from anywhere. This comes with your existing laptop. So it could be different for you. I have these pre-installed in mind. And this empty panel will be available once we start doing the work itself. So from here you can basically change color, the speed of the color and set things like that for each and every layer you have. And the thing you see here with the numbers, the time. So this is basically the timeline of the layers itself. So this looks pretty similar to what a timeline in a video editing software might look like. So yeah, there is that thing. And this middle screen is the actual thing where you want to work upon. This is from where you pick up the work and start doing the thing. So your laptop, however it may look like, this is here, it will be displayed here. And as you can see, I hover over the keyboard and the buttons. So as I hover them, they change color. So that basically shows that it's configurable. And same goes with the logo, the two lights underneath my bezel, the on the display here and some light on the edges on the keyboard that comes with any ROG laptop. Uh, yeah, this is a new one. So that's why we don't have till the edges till the end. We only have half of them. Otherwise, we used to have till the end over here. So and I can also like zoom in and then I can select either of the keys. So this is actually a four key RGB keyboard. So that's why I'm able to select any button over here and program them individually, each one of them. And even the logo, because I have an RGB lit logo on my ROG Streak K15. I think it's a 2021 model. I don't really use this laptop that much, so I don't really remember much of it. So I will show you my setup first, how it looks like. Then we will get into how it's done. All right, so you can see here my setup is pretty simple. So like I mentioned, I don't really use this laptop that much, but I actually use it. So I haven't been gaming a lot since few days or weeks. So that's why I just have a simple white backlit keyboard so that I can at least work in dark and the ROG key and the WESD key, you know what it's used for. So that's why I've kept in red. But why I've kept it in red, I'll show you in a bit. Then we have these two lights under it, the bezel, the screen. So left one is red and the right one is actually white. 
and if we go back so my logo is just a simple red color and this is the setup I have been using since actually a few days since I started using my laptop again so that's pretty much it now let's get back to the video and I'll show you how it's done so at first even I thought that this software is really complex to use because I had no idea how to do things but even without watching any tutorial just playing around with the software itself I was able to learn how simple it is and I'm gonna show you how it's done and this is really simple trust me guys just follow this video carefully step by step and you will be able to do it so basically I've already given you how the interface works the screen looks like in the software when you enter it for the first time so step one all you need to do is simply click on any configurable component on your laptop which is available or on your device and PC components are basically like the list of everything that can be configured like the keyboard, mouse and everything. If it is connected it will show here like the way laptop does it will also show here right here. So I only have this device no other accessories connected. So let's configure the components that are available on my device hardware. So I want to configure the WASD button to show you guys how it's done in this tutorial. So let's get started. Alright so now first of all let's click WASD and configure these keys for the RGB setup in the Aura Creator. So basically how you do is click either one of them then click control key press and hold and select other keys you want to configure like for example for this tutorial that is WASD. So basically it's the simple windows command you click control select all the files and it's selected at the same time that's the same thing here so once you have done this as you can see whichever component you will click it will be highlighted in yellow like the borders over here that means they are selected once they are done just go over here and click set as layer and this layer will appear on the timeline here so what exactly you can do in the timeline so there are few options here so we basically can hide and unhide them so if you will unhide them and click apply and save over here it will basically turn off the system everything you have configured for this timeline and everything will be turned off whichever things are inside this timeline for example WASD then over here you can actually rename for your convenience because there can be even like hundreds of timeline because there are endless possibilities so you can basically rename them for your convenience and to understand later and then this trigger effect settings this black dot circle over here when you click that so basically if you apply any kind of lighting effects to the timeline you can actually make them like wiggle or you can add triggers of effect in them so basically if you click add effect effect will be there and here are three options available like the reactive laser and ripple so if you are an ROG user you have used this RGB backlight keyboard you already know what it does so here we have options to have a single color or a random one and select speed for either one of them but I'm not going to use anything so I'll just simply click delete all and click ok that's it so to actually start setting up and configure these keys and components simply drag click and drag either of the effects on the timeline like this and it will be here so like I said this empty panel at the right hand side will allow you to change color the speed of them and basically edit the color of anything you have selected any effect so basically I'm gonna just drag this for my convenience so basically now it's there and I want them to be red so I'm gonna click and from this okay so it's already ready over here and I'll click OK and then simply click save and apply that's control S so basically it will ask you to rename the file name for the very first time because basically you can have multiple profiles basically multiple designs and you can simply go and click those designs over here and you will be able to apply and change your RGB setup in mere seconds so I'm gonna rename this file and it's for the video so I'll just simply rename it to test oh it's already there so test one and save and it's there so let me show you all right so as you can see WASD has now turned into red lights and 
since this is my new profile and I have only configured WASD from this profile so I have turned them into red keys and none of the components are selected and being used right now so that's why they are completely off but as you can see that the key 3 ez and alt is in blue RGB light so I'm not sure why that is I haven't, I haven't done anything on this as you can see so I think there's some problem in my backlit keyboard but it normally does not appear to have but when all the lights are turned off that's how it looks but I'm not even sure if this is a new update or something or some kind of new effect because I haven't been using this laptop for a while now so it might be something new or there might be a problem it could be either of the case so basically as you can see WASD is now configured to be red over here so you can simply click each of the clickable components it will be highlighted in yellow and you will be able to simply just uh, uh, drag after clicking the set layer you will be able to drag any kind of effect on the timeline select the color and simply just click save and apply and the keyboard or any other component will be highlighted the way you want it to look so you can repeat the step for every component it's that simple to use so that's pretty much it about it so if you have any doubt or anything you can simply ask them in the comments and i'll catch you there so this is it for this video and thanks for watching until then catch you in the next one peace out